welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. How to create an action to resize an image. The action tab is over here. If it's not showing, you can go up to Windows and click Actions. If you're making a new set of actions, you can create a group for them. Click on this group button and type in the group name. And then to start your new action, press on this new action button. And I'll type it as resize, name it as resize. And say I'm going to name them 600, resize them to 600 pixels. You can see that it is recording the action now because of the little red record button in the corner there. Now there's two ways to resize the image in an action. I could go up to image, image size. If all the images were the same height to start with, this would work, or if they were all square. But if I wanted to resize both vertical and horizontal images in one action, I couldn't use this. If I were to type in 200, that'll make the width of this image 200. But then if I were to come with a horizontal image, it would still make the width 200 and the height would be very small. If I want to resize a bunch of images with a maximum width being the same, I go up to File, Automate, Fit Image, and here I enter in the maximum width. So if I want 600, type in 600 for both height and width. OK. Now if I go to Image, Image Size, you can see height is 600, and then it made the width smaller. Now to finish my action, if I want to save this image somewhere, I just type in File, Save As, and then go to a folder or wherever I want to save it. Make sure you don't change the file name. If you change the file name, then it will change the file name of every image you save in the action, and it will keep saving the images over top of each other. So you should save the images in a new folder other than where they were read. So I'll name this Action Dump, and click Save. Type in my JPEG settings. And now I can just press stop. To play the action, you go up to File, Automate, Batch, and then the group, Tutorial, Action Resize. You choose where you want the pictures to come from, the folder, or you can choose the open files if you have a few files open. And then just press OK and it'll run. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.